Remember, the fish markets are underrated. You are the infamous sushi taco. Oh, wow, bro. Wow. You know when you're trying to catch a wave at a beach and you get dumped? That's what caviar tastes like to me. I don't know. It just tastes like I nearly drown. You bite through that, and at the bottom, there's a hot oyster just waiting there. Like, yeah, get me. I can't cop it. I swear to God, I can't cop it. All right, everyone, before we get started, today's episode of It's All Eats is brought to you by Culture Kings. Look at these boys. Quantums, the gold and black Quantums. And you know what? They got big sizes too. I'm 14. Like, it's not everywhere that sells them. By the way, they got 14s. Proper shoes they got there. Proper tracksuits. Yes, Nordica. Matching Nordica tracksuits, boys. Look at this jumper. Look at this jumper. Look at that. Tell me that's not fresh. Tell me that's not fresh. If you're from the hood, you know that's fresh. Anyway, use code SPANIAN, 10% off, go on their website. Code SPANIAN, 10% off anything. Let's go. Yo, everyone, welcome back to It's All Eats. Hey, we're at Sydney Fish Markets today in Sydney City. I spun out, I only learned this today. This is the biggest fish markets in the Southern Hemisphere and the third biggest fish markets in the world. It's legit. But when I've been here, I'm thinking, bro, well, like, legit? Anyway, um, let's go check it out. I grew up around here. It's in Piedmont, Glebe area. Cut. What kind of place we go? Fish markets. Like, come on. <laughs> Look, a full pelican just kicked them back in Sydney City. The smell has arrived. You have Sydney Rock? These? Yeah, rocks are Beautiful. Can I get can I get six? They're like uncracked, but they're huge. I thought that was a man. I thought that was a man. I can relax. I'm filming. Stop staring at me. Sydney Rock? I oh, know. I eat oysters, right? They're the only oysters that I can cop. Mums. Like the other oysters, they're like they taste like the ocean. Like you know, they taste like raw seafood. Sydney Rock are just like. Um, the wiggles, I'm the yellow wiggle. Find a seat and I'll pump these. Can I sit here and pump them? Like a special person away from the rockets. Right, so he said there's caviar, crayfish. I don't understand how orange goo is crayfish, but anyway. Oh, vinegar based. Woo! Soy sauce in that. Let's cut. Look at that. All the lemon get on there. Oh. Oh, wow, bro. Wow. You know when... <laughs> this is what caviar tastes like, mums, I swear. You know when you're trying to catch a wave at a beach and you get dumped and all the salt water goes in your face and you're like... Oh, and you come out, that taste, that's what caviar tastes like for me. I don't know. It tastes like I nearly drowned. That's what it tastes like. But having said that, it's still hectic. We'll try it with this. I'm pumping them more. Like I'm repeatedly being dumped at Pondi Beach. We've got extra sauce on this one, let's go. You know me, I don't fake it. If I don't like it, I'll say, that's rubbish. That's hectic, bro. I could eat 12, 15, 18 of those. Put them on rice, I'll eat a big bucket, let's go. See over there, this is the first time I've seen an actual scallop, look. Like that's the first time I've seen a scallop, not in... You know, you see them, they're like little marshmallows. You're like, what is this? Wow, they look like full little murderers, lad. They look like those fish, you know those little sucker fish, they jump, get on people's legs overseas and they just, and they're, they're ah, get it off, and trying to murder them, you know? Look at the mouth on the snapper, lad. It's full packed, yo. I'm walking around looking for a seat. Preparing a seat for my next feed. Let's oge bar. We'll go outside. How short is it? I can't see it. I've got to sit on the floor to see it. Hey, how are you? Can I order the grilled platter? But this is heavy. Boom, brother. Boom, lad. Come on, let's see. Straight out, I forgot what was on it. <laughs> I forgot. My job is to eat, not remember boards. All right, what have we got, brother? Forms. Oh, I never liked prawns. Mums, I don't like prawns. They're nice, but they're nice, actually. They're sweet. Sort of tastes Chinese. Here we are, scallops. Oh yeah, they come in the shell, I was saying before. Tastes like I just ate a clove of garlic. That's what that scallop tastes like, a clove of garlic. 
with a bit of salt. My favorite of all seafood, octopus, baba. We got it, let's cut. Some people freak out on octopus. They're like, man, it's like a little monster. I don't know, but though, it might be a little monster, but it tastes nice. Mm -hmm. That's epic. You know what? It's not too like chewy, not too like hard rubbery. It's soft. It's got like the Greek flavor. You know when Greeks make octopus and it's just rah, It's got the full Greek flavor, brother. Let's go. What is this? Little drops of goodness. I won't come out. Wow. Remember the fish markets are underrated. Maybe they're not. <laughs> Maybe everyone rates them. In my world, they're underrated. We all live around here. We never come fish markets. What is this again? Calamari. That's what it is, calamari. Wow. But they made this hectic. This is the... Wow! Wow! What is this one? This is like Mornay? That's the cheesy one. Yeah, Kilpatrick's the... How you going, bacon and that? This is the cheesy... Look at this! I'm, I'm scared of this. That's scary, bro. I'm gonna eat it. Yuck! I didn't even get the oyster in my mouth. I don't even want to. That's weird, bro. I couldn't even bear to get that oyster in my mouth. Imagine this. You bite through cheese, and then there's all that cream, like, you know, that, like in lasagna. You bite through that, and at the bottom, there's a hot oyster just waiting there. Like, yeah, get me. It's like, no way, brother. Yuck. I gave me an anxiety attack. <laughs> I approached the oyster, I felt the oyster, touched my tongue, I was like, go away, bro. Bro, look at the fish. Brother, look at that fish, it looks the part. Does it taste the part? Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's hectic, lad. Wow, that, that fish is gone. That's a full gun, Baramundi. Wow, that is so nice. That is so nice. And a chip, I'll have a chip. I think an important thing when we do food reviews like this is to rate the value for money. Because that's important, bro. We live in the real world. Money is important. $54. I was thinking if me and my missus share that, that fish or that calamari, half the prawns, one of them each, the octopus, I wouldn't say it's exceptional value, but it's decent, you know? And it's definitely nice. Fuck, my booty was full hanging out. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I looked down and my dick was full hanging out. Anyway, but fucking, um, we'll get something else. Bruh, that's a scary animal, bro. Let's get one. Hey, let's spew one. I'm gonna eat one. We'll get one. Half a lobster, garlic and chili. We'll taste it, we'll taste it. All right, let's oge. I'll tell you straight out. I'm doing this for use. I don't like lobster. Putrid, but anyway. It's like sweet chili as well. Spewing. Sweet chili's yuck, bro. It's like jam. It's like apricot jam with chili flakes in it. I don't know why, but I just hate it. I hate it. Bro, it's full utrid. <laughs> I don't want to be rude and spit it, but I'm going to swallow it. I can't cop it, I swear to God I can't cop it. I hate lobster. If you get nice fish, all right, but you make it chewy, right? More chewy than fish, so it's like tough, and you put sugar equal on it, and it's like yuck, sweet, sweet tasting fish. That's hard to chew, that's encased in a little monster, and there's like guts and tentacles, and it's like, bro, this is putrid. Let's go explore a bit. No, no, they're alive, look at them. <laughs> they're spin out, look. They're like raw, but it's like they got the cheese there already. <laughs> so it's like you go put them in the oven and it turns out to a little, meh, you know what I mean? Sushi place, 
wine place. Bro, look at that. What was that? Look at the size of this fish. Swordfish, brother. Look how fat that is compared to me. That fish would have been a full monster. It'll snap your neck, just boom, oh, mate, just big fish, and bang, get away from me. <laughs> you know, the original fish markets used to be in Woolloomooloo, back in Mohood. It used to be in Woolloomooloo, like since the 1800s, but I think in um, 1966, they moved it here. So you cross that water there, I went to school there, that's a Glebe High. This was just like old docks for like the uh, past 50 years. Look at these poles going up. They're full, it's already like the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. They're full extending it all the way out there, but that's spinning up. A dessert. This caught my eye, I'm getting it. It's done, it's dusted. Hello, can I get a chalk dip fig, please? That's a cameraman, he doesn't eat food. All right, thank you. Right, have a look at that. I like figs. I like figs. I like chocolate. It's not immediately clear whether I like it or not. No, that's mad. That's hectic. Mm. The chocolate is like, obviously hard. The fig's like mushy, you know what I mean? But it's still hectic. But when I, when I said I was coming here, I kept getting requested. You gotta get the sushimi taka, right? I've, I've never heard of it, but we'll suss it. That's it. That's the sushi taco. You are the infamous sushi taco I have heard about. You know what video I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, bro, I lived there, man. Oh, mad. I didn't even know it was there, and then I went there. So oh, you didn't know it was there? Yeah. Until you seen the food show? Exactly. Yeah, nice, bro. Yeah, thank you, eh? He lives in Heckenberg. You know, done the island store there, Lola's Island store? He goes, I didn't even know it was there until you done a video there. Now I go there, it's hectic. See, brother? See the impact that I have? We'll go outside and eat it, eh? Let's go, I'll eat it here. I'll eat it here as we're going. I have no idea what is on this, right? I have no idea. No idea at all. I cannot even identify. Oh, there's cucumber. Cucumber, salmon, caviar, sesame seeds. The bottom look like, you know, seaweed with how you going around it, cornflakes on it. <laughs> and rice, and a bit of parsley. That's exactly what is on this. It's chat. It's full chat. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's, it's full chat, bruh, straight out. The outside's like, like cardboard. It's not crunchy, but it's not mushy, you know? It's like cardboardy. Tastes bitter. Tastes shit, bro. That's it. Hey, what do you want me to say? Where's the bin? Let's go. All right, everyone. That was the Sydney fish markets. Was it anything special about that place? Look, bro. It's like just going to any seafood place, really. Um, the seafood. I'll tell you one thing, but you know that seafood grill that I had. Everything in there tasted mad, like except for that. Meh, Whatever that was thing in the oyster with the how you going on top, that was putrid. Lobster, I knew it was gonna be putrid, but that's not to say you won't like it. I just think lobster and crab and stuff like that are putrid. If you like it, if you've been here before, if you like it, drop a comment and say, Spanian, you're wrong, but that's my opinion. That sushi taco, but stick to, just stick to sushi. Don't try to get tricky, all right? Doesn't work. And the fig, that tasted mad. I don't come here now and go, oh, I've been missing out my whole life. I probably won't come back here for another year. I don't know. Oh, the octopus was hectic. The octopus was hectic. Tasted like Greek barbecue octopus. That was beautiful. That was gone. That's it.